Hi. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple and very efficient paper efficient poinsettia for Christmas or Christmas decor. So, this flower actually I only use uh, five pieces for the petals, one piece for the leaves, and one piece half piece for the center so all in all you're only gonna be using like uh six and a half uh pieces of cardstock so in our uh petals we have four layers for the large so this is gonna be a large poinsettia it has four layers each for each layer has five pieces on it so it's gonna be laid out like this uh in your uh design space so when you are going to put your uh paper also in your mat should be horizontal instead of vertical so you'll position your paper this way and i it all this also comes with a smaller size with a smaller size you have to position your paper vertically instead of horizontally the same thing as with the leaves so the leaves is laid out this way so you can you go ahead and also position this one horizontally in your mat when you're cutting it for the large so on the leaves the the tiny pentagon uh, pentagonal base also comes with it so the leaves however you know it's optional you can put as much as five leaves on your poinsettia but also you can just put two, three, or four. So however you like it. So also in the in this purchase, when you purchase this template, this uh, dandelion center will come with it. And it's all already laid out this way. So in one sheet, you can make, uh, you can create two flowers for one uh, gold paper that you have so let's start with the other uh let's start with the other materials that we're going to use aside from the paper uh, we have our uh, metal ruler i have this uh spatula from cricut and you can also use a butter knife or kitchen knife which is not too sharp for this and i have my four sizes curling materials and i have my scissors so let's start with the let's start with the petals so first things first as you all know i wanted to uh do my paper or folding or curling three pieces at, 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 at a time but since we have five so i'll have one three and then one two set so what I'm basically just doing here is folding this poinsettia in half like so. So the same thing with the remaining. Just try to fold it as center as you can. So the fold will uh, give you like texture and sharpness on your uh, flower. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the remaining uh, layers. So I'm working on my second layer. Holding it as center as I can and then moving to my third And then to our fourth and final layer. So 
So the as you as you can observe with the layout, uh, the entire petal is almost the same. But you know that you know this one is the base because it has a flatter tip on it compared to the really tip part of the petal. So after we fold all the petals in half, now we can uh, create a slit on it. So the same policy, the larger the, larger the petal, the, the deeper the slit. So I'm cutting all five at a time, not just its easier but also it creates a uniform slip and then to the final so what we can do now actually this one is optional you can do it or you can skip this but I like to add more texture on our flowers so i'm gonna curl some uh, the sides both sides outward and then i use the large the larger uh double red for my largest petal and then for my second layer I'm using the second largest which is my pencil so now you have a gauge on uh, you know the sizes of the double red that I'm using for this uh, particular flower design so you can see I have my second largest uh, double red or not double red but curler using as uh, using my pencil layer and then moving to our third layer and to our fourth and final layer So on the on the smaller uh, poinsettia, on the smaller template, it has only three layers on it. And like this one, it has four. So you don't have to identify, you know, the A, B, C, or D because it's all layout, layout already for you guys. So now it's time for us to uh, glue the flaps together. And we're doing it in a uniform way also. and five so doing the same thing with our 
second layer. So gluing the flap together, it's the main reason why our flower has a dimension on it. It makes it stand upright than just laying flat. So then with our second layer, onto our third layer. To our final petal on our third layer so now moving to our fourth one to one Two, three, four, and five. So, once we've done that, uh, we can then go ahead and work into our leaves before we will try to assemble it. So, in this uh, case, I'm only using two leaves. So, I'm folding it uh, together all at once. So it's, for me, it's very important to really have a defined crease on it. So what I am doing now is to create a texture on our leaves so that it would look more realistic. So when we do that, you see that the folded area is away from us. Using the roller, we can create a line like a crease so depending on the thickness of your paper that's also how the pressure that would also that would also be you know the, the determining factor on how you are going to put pressure on your uh, line so this one is a bit thicker so I'm putting too much pressure on it but if it's a little bit uh, lighter I would uh, be also a bit gentle on it so what we are trying to do is to create a crease so that we when we are going to fold and create a texture on this leaf it would be a clean uh, fold like this because if you won't especially if you are using a thicker paper it's gonna be a not so tidy one the crease would create a path of its own you know when you fold it without a line like this so this is how our 
sleeves look like textured ones So that's one and then moving to our second and again because this is a thicker paper I cannot do it like I cannot fold it two at a time but one at a time so but anyway even if it's a thinner one doing this textured folding I would really recommend that do it you know one at a time so one two i'm just following the line that i made on this uh leaf and again you know if you don't have this spatula from Cricut you can use the back of uh, a kitchen knife because it's not a dull one. Oh, it's a dull one not a very sharp edge so it won't cut your paper but at least you know give you a defined crease on your uh, lines so that's that's how we form our leaves now we can uh, put our petals together into our tiny base. So the base, as I said, it comes with the leaf template. You can see it here. It's tiny because the base of our poinsettia is also small. So let's start with the first layer. So this is a pentagonal base. Uh, I did really give you the pentagonal so that it would be easier for you guys to distribute it you know five petals uh in your around your base because you know i'm using for i'm often use uh round ones but it's not very friendly especially when you are creating a flower that only have five petals on it so basically what I am doing is I just follow the the corner so I every corner I put a petal on it so that's our guide on how we're going to distribute our petals evenly so as you can see also the way how I distribute my petals it's one side atop of the other, one side atop of the other. So four. And then five moving on to our second layer so our second layer or our second part just like the other uh, petal templates that we have it should be placed in between the two previous petals like so I really like this poinsettia uh, template because it looks fuller than the two previous ones I've made and also it has more texture on it Be careful because hot glue can really be so hot.
on to our final petal. Now we're moving to our third layer. Again, it should be placed in between the two previous ones, which is parallel to our first layer. Our fourth and final petal. So, to be honest, you can really just work on the three layer if you want, and then you can put your center on it. But we have our fourth layer, so might as well just put this one in here. four and the final petal so now we can go ahead and put our uh, center on it so let's start with the largest one give it a good number of seconds because especially when it's you know tight there's a tendency that the paper will fight on your uh, on your glue so the second layer we are trying to push the sides or the tentacles upward to really give it a good uh, layer and then place it in the middle and the same thing as our third and final layer and glue it the very middle so it really mimics you know like almost the real poinsettia so with our uh with our leaves we can just go ahead and glue it whichever side we think it would suit like but also it should be in between uh this two outermost petals so you can have five greens or three or two like what i am doing right now so what i am basically just uh putting a glue on it and attach it on this side and give a good number of seconds before letting it go So, the same thing with our second leaf. I'm going to put it on this side. So, 
so you have an option to cover this here or if you want to hang this if you want if you want to hang this uh, flower I would suggest that you would get like a small circle enough to cover it one second like this one uh, let me get a smaller circle okay so we have a smaller circle now how we can hang this is by putting the uh, putting a hook with this base I'm using a pipe cleaner and then just put it here or stick it on your base and then have a generous amount of glue in your base and attach it from attach it in your flower so in attaching it make sure that you are pressing the very middle part of the flower instead of just you know pressing it or else it will damage the the layer that you have here so there you have guys this is our uh poinsettia and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up you can share it and you can pin it and also uh the templates the the template will be listed below so visit on my Etsy shop it's all available you can have all the paper flower templates that you want so until next time and until next tutorial bye